Hey, what's up YouTube? Brian Fajoli here. And today I want to do a video showing you guys how to add USB type C to your desktop computer. So if your if your desktop computer has um, USB type C on the rear, but not on the front and you want to add it to the front, or let's say your PC doesn't even have USB type C, um, but you do have a USB 3.0 header on your motherboard, this can absolutely help. And this can add USB type C to the front of your computer. And my desktop PC does have um, USB type C 3.1 Gen 2 on the rear. This will add USB 3.1 uh, Gen 1, which is essentially the same thing as USB uh, 3.0 but it will add USB type C to the front of your desktop. So this is a little uh, thing I picked up. I think it was around 13 or 14 dollars on Amazon. It's from a company called Amebay. A-M-E-B-A-Y. You see here, A-M-E-B-A-Y. And there's a lot of companies that sell this exact same thing at various prices. This was the cheapest that I saw. And it's a 3.5 inch USB 3.0 type A and type C 20 pin front panel. Okay, so let me show you what exactly this is. So we have two things in this box, uh, three things actually. There's some screws here. Nice that they included that. And I'll show you exactly what this product is. This goes into the 3.5 inch bay on the front of your desktop and it adds USB Type C and USB Type A. Now, keep in mind, USB Type-C is a connection type. It is not a, um, a speed, right? So you can have USB 3.1 Gen 2, which is the fastest USB. You can have that with both USB Type-A and USB Type-C. Type-C is just that connector type. So this is gonna give you USB 3.0 speed on USB Type-C. And you might be wondering, well, why would I want that? Well, for instance, I have a, a USB Type-C flash drive. Um, I have a USB Type-C um, SSD hard drive, uh, like, a, like a portable uh, storage device that I use. Uh, it's a, technically, it's an SSD um, that I use with my MacBook Pro. But let's say I want to connect a flash drive then to my, um, my Windows desktop or my Linux desktop. And I, you know, I only have USB Type-C on the rear and I don't want to go around the computer to plug it in. Or let's say your desktop doesn't have USB Type-C, this will enable it. So the way this works is it has the same, uh, it has a USB 3.0 header here. And inside the box that what they've given is a pretty decent cable, a blue USB 3.0 header cable. So you just need a compatible motherboard, which most motherboards in the last, I don't know, five years or so, um, maybe even longer, um, it's pretty standard to have one of these USB 3.0 headers on your motherboard. So one end would plug into your motherboard, the other end will plug into this device itself. Then on the sides, you can see there's these screw holes, and you would screw it into your case, your chassis. Uh, they've given two screws here, so you'd put one on one side, one on the other. I'm surprised they didn't include at least four screws. That's pretty cheap that they only gave two, um, but that should be fine for this purpose. And all this is really doing is extending the USB 3.0 header from your motherboard to this device here. So you don't need any drivers for this. You don't even need any power. Now I've, I saw that there were some uh, variants of this that have a type A, like two type A's, two type C's. Um, it plugs in using USB and it has like a, uh, a serial ATA power connector. That kind of operates more like a hub where it's connecting uh, to the USB and then and then it's pow like a powered hub. I didn't want that. I just want to strictly uh, use the header off the board with no added power. Because uh, lately, I'm not even really using uh, serial ATA at all with NVMe uh, NVMe uh, SSDs. Uh, you know, M.2, you don't even really need um, serial ATA anymore, except for maybe optical drives. 
So there you go, folks. With a product like this, and I'll put a link in the description, but with a product like this, you can add USB Type-C to any computer, to any desktop computer that has a USB 3.0 header. It's, it's that simple. This will add it to the front. And again, I'll say, you will not get any faster speeds by using USB Type-C, but you are getting that connection type now in the front of your computer, which can come in handy, and it'll look pretty cool, too. All right, folks, thanks so much for watching the video, and have a great day.